I'm gonna try and do this. Hello, I'm I can kill you with my brain. There's Lauren again. I'll check that in a second. Um I'm doing a lot of vlogging lately. Not a lot. I mean, you know, there are people who do daily vlogs that probably are gonna, you know, pump Hello, one sir. out every I can kill you with my brain. I know you can kill me with your brain. I don't have one. One of the cool things about um, coming across a guy like uh, like this guy, Casey Neistat, by the way, that's him being very happy on his initial ride of his boosted board. Um, is, I can kill you with my brain. But let's see what she's saying. This is in regards to um, this new position I have at my church, which is a kind of a publishing editor kind of thing. Um, and it's having to do with the fact that for now, I'm basically having to stamp an old-fashioned time card without the without the benefit of, of a time clock. You know the you know boom. Um, now it's just a time sheet that is loaded into our printer at the church, and I, I've got to fill it out hand, you know, handwritten and everything like that. I'm trying to get them to do it electronically, and I'm, I'm going to win this battle because it's so old school, and I, I don't write anymore. I mean, getting back to the subject with regards to vlogging and so forth, um, if you watch a channel like uh, Casey Neistat's channel, and he does his q and A. I mean, I'm binge watching his channel. A lot of people ask him, you know, how to vlog and that kind of stuff. How to how, what's the best way to vlog? Well, one thing that I found out watching his channel is that you know he hooks up with a lot of other vloggers, and uh, um, there's one in particular uh, who's is quite interesting. A young young woman who um, she's got she's got great content, great energy. Her name is Sarah Dici. That's her name right there, Sarah Dici. And she says, on the beginning of her vlog, it says, rhymes with peachy. Easy to remember. And thank goodness, because if I tried to pronounce it myself, and I did, I totally screwed it up every time. Um, but that's the thing. It's just like, don't, good Lord, there's, there's countless other people to watch. So tonight, coming home from church, um... I was greeted in my car by a low tire warning light. And, of course, this happens uh, the day before I'm to drive to Jacksonville to see Lauren and the girl. I have had that low tire warning light come on in my car or a previous car about, I don't know, maybe five times over the last four or five years. I swear to God, every time it has been on a Saturday night, and if I go into a tire place or inquire at a tire place whether they can uh, take care of me on a Sunday, they all basically kind of laugh at me. So I know that's not going to happen. Um, but Lauren suggested that you know maybe it's due to the cooler weather that we've had, and we had. Sure enough, I did check the tire pressure, and three of the four tires were you know kind of low, um, and the fourth was a little low. So. I'm hoping that's the uh, I'm hoping that's the problem, and that I don't have a nail on one of those tires, and it's going to cause me to blow out on the way to Jacksonville tomorrow night on I-4. That would not be good. That would be like me riding a boosted board, and believe a good entry-level, decent skateboard. And it's just like that would be kind of cool, actually, because we've got this great rail trail uh, here that you know, so no car traffic or anything like that. Yeah, there's some bikes and, and pedestrians and so forth, but uh, it's not like riding a, a skateboard in the middle of Los Angeles or New York or Chicago. i got to find some vloggers from Chicago. That, that, that'd be kind of... So anyway, my point is, is that as far as vlogging and everything like that, if you want to learn how to vlog, to watch as many people as you possibly can, to watch as many good people as you possibly can. You'll find out who the good ones are and who the not so good ones are uh, pretty soon. But to just watch what people are doing and if you watch enough people you'll start formulating your own ideas um, as to what you're wanting to do 
rather than plagiarizing, uh, which is never a good thing. And I'm trying not to do that. And like, you know, the reason I'm wearing sunglasses is quite simply because, well, number one, my regular glasses give this really weird freaking glare in this light, and I hate that. And, you know, the other reason is, is because, you know, I could look at the lens, but then I don't really know what I'm, you know, uh, you know, and I just get kind of cross-eyed. I, why I wear sunglasses indoors on these vlogs. No other. It's not a plagiaristic move or anything like that. And I scabbed myself. Another person to watch, uh, especially if, well, you didn't watch it whether you're male or female, uh, but particularly for uh, women, uh, young women who are, you know, trying to figure out what the heck to do and if they're interested in technology and uh, social media and that kind of stuff, this might be a really cool thing. Um, her name is Carly Kloss, and uh, this is her YouTube channel. Um, I doubt this is a link. If I can figure out how to link this, uh, I will. But uh, just copy this. Hit pause right now. Okay. Hit unpause. Oh, that makes no sense. And uh, check out her channel because I think she has a class. She's teaching a class or facilitating a class um, for coding. Now, I don't really know what that is. Okay, so this is how far behind the eight ball I am on technology, but it's geared towards uh, girls uh, and young women um, who want to get into social media, I guess. Anyway, check it out, uh, because that's an innovation that, that is really cool. And I don't, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's just limited to uh, uh, girls. I think, I think it's for guys as well. I mean, I can imagine. So that'd be worth it to check out. But it's really cool to see people... Um, who are trying to invigorate our youth to get into what is really available out there, you know, to create and uh, to be creators and to be artisans and to be um, innovators. Have I used enough words? Check out some of these people, what they do, how they do it. They, have, they all have different interests and different uh, ways of doing things. And it's not, uh, I don't know, I just don't think there really are limits. But as we, and even in this new little, you know, little dinky position that I have at church, which, you know, it really is not going to take more than five or six hours a week on average, uh, I'm going to be looking to, uh, to new technologies to make it, I don't want to say easier for me, but more streamlined for the end product. And that's the goal for that. And if I do that, not only is it better for the church, but it makes it more fun and more challenging for me as the worker bee.